Hello, my name is Caitlin Zimmer and I am a music teacher in Odessa, Texas. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom quaver assignment to give to your students. These quaver assignments are great for if you want students to complete an assignment in class without having to use tons of paper. And they can, are also great for if you are going to be absent and need to give your, your students something to work on with a substitute in the room. First, you will need to open up um, and uh, open up a either a preset lesson or a lesson that you have created. In this um, tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate um, how to create an assignment using a lesson I have already created for my students. Um, if you need help um, with learning how to create an assignment, check out my earlier video um, where I discuss how to create an assign or how to create a lesson on Quaver. So to open your, um, your saved lessons that you have created, first you'll need to click the resource manager. Once you are in the resource manager, you need to choose um, my custom lessons and then open the lesson that you are going to create for your students. So um, I'll go back to the fifth grade lesson I created earlier, fifth grade lesson 17. And from here, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna right click and then click Create Assignment From. This will turn the lesson that I made into an assignment template that is, act, that is accessible for students. Now it's gonna ask me to name it. And um, when I name assignments for my students, I always put the grade dash lesson number. So this is a fifth grade lesson 17. So this is five dash 17 and then click okay. You'll notice that um, instead of the little teacher presenting icon down here, the lesson actually shows up in like this little teal um, or a little A button. Now to edit it, you'll need to double click on it or click menu, edit assignment. And then you have some options here, okay? Um, you have, that's the wrong one. I am so sorry, 5-17. Let's try that again menu and edit assignment. Now, you'll have some different options here. Um, these are gonna be exactly the same as uh, what was in the lesson. Now, um, you want to first put instructions on each, um, on each tab that you're gonna use. So let's go to this tab right here. Welcome to Arctic Overture. I'm gonna click on it, then click menu, edit notes and video instructions. Now, your students are not going to read all of this. So what you want to do is you want to edit these instructions to, and, and, some, or to, and write it in a way that your student will read this because the original instructions were intended for just the teachers. So I want my students to, um, to press play and listen to the Arctic Overture. So that's what I'm going to write. On top of writing out instructions, Quaver also gives you the option to create your own video instructions. To add video instructions, simply click video instructions, and you have some options here. You can either record yourself right here, or you can upload. Let's record um, some simple instructions. Good morning, fifth grade. This week, we are going to learn how to write our own melodies to accompany the song Arctic Overture. On this first slide, you're gonna need to press play and listen to the piece Arctic Overture. Once you are finished, then click the next arrow on this side of your screen to see your next activity. Now, from here, if I press record again, it's going to delete what I just made and start over. I can also play it back to watch and check to see what I recorded. And if I don't like it, I can have the option to redo it. If I wanna keep this in here, I'm gonna click save. Now to make, we want to get save our video instructions and the written instructions by clicking save.
So now when the students see your, uh, or see this assignment, they're gonna see a little video icon down here, which I'll show you what that looks like later. So um, I'll show you what that looks like later. Now, um, that's how you add some instructions on there. Let's say I want to um, add um, a, like my own like personal video. I'm gonna click menu, new screen. So you have, uh, these are the different resource creation options that you have. You can drop a multi, uh, like a, a multimedia template. You can create a melody composer assignment, um, a quiz challenge, a quiz builder. You could upload a file, some audio clips. Um, you can also upload YouTube videos or any kind of uh, the web, web addresses right here. And you have multiple options. If I'm wanting to upload a video, I'm gonna click teacher recording and I'm gonna upload something. So I'm gonna click upload choose file, and um, I recommend choosing MP4s, and then um, I'm just gonna click video. Let's say I'll make this, okay? Then I wanna give it a title. And then click save. Now, when you build an assignment, each time you add something new, it always places it at the end of the assignment. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you always, um, that you check and drag and drop to wherever you want to put the video. So I'm gonna put, I want this video to go in between the poem and the overture score. So I'm gonna drag it right there. Now, once you've kind of mapped out what you want in the lesson, you've gotten all your videos in, you've got the files you wanna put, you've got all the slides you need, um, you need now you need to add something to grade your students. Um, there's two ways you can do this. You can choose to upload a creative and have, or use one of the Quaver creatives and have them submit a, um, an assignment, or <clears throat> you can build a quiz and have them submit a quiz. I'll show you both ways. So it's, uh, we'll start with the quiz. To upload a quiz, we'll do menu, Cre er, sorry, new screen, quiz builder. Now from here, you can search, um, you can search for things in the quiz bank. So let's search for Melody, okay? So you've got, um, you got some different questions about Melody. You can drag and drop them in here. So like, if I want this question, what's a melodic ostinato? There it goes. If I want to add my own question, I simply click add new, and then I can type my question. Click the answers. Now, um, sometimes I like to survey my students and I might ask them like, um, which which activity in the lesson did they enjoy the most? And they are they should be able they can pick more than they can pick whatever answer they want. Um, if you want to do something similar to select um, a multiple answers, simply click the little checkbox. So now your students have the option of answering truthfully, and they don't have to worry about if they're going to get it wrong or not. Now, make sure you title your quiz and then save it. and then it's gonna be put down here. Now, um, if you want the quiz to be the graded section, you're simply going to click <clears throat> the little circle and it's gonna ask you if you want to set Melody Quiz as the assignment's graded screen. If so, click yes. Now, that's one way you can grade your students. Another way you can grade your students is by having them upload a creative. So that would be things like Q Composer, Q Grooves, Q Backbeat. Um, let me show you how to do that. So we're gonna search for um, Q Composer in the, in, the, um, in the search bar. Okay, um, and then I'm going to click this one right here that says Create a Melody. Okay, I'm gonna click and drag it right there. 
Now, if I don't want the quiz to be my graded, uh, my graded assignment, I can either delete it or I can simply change which one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete the quiz just for, um, just for clarity's sake. And I'm going to move this right here. So it's truly at the end of the lesson. Now, I'm going to show you um, from here, you, can, you will need to assign it to a class. You'll need to click menu and then uh, assign to class. Now, um, if you do not have classes set up in your Quaver, um, be sure to check out be sure to check out on the Quaver tutorials how to set up your classes. Or you can reach out to your IT coordinator and have them set up classes for you. Anyway, I'm going to assign this to my fifth graders. And set a due date. We'll say the due date is Monday. Okay, so this is like a weekend like project. All right. And for the assignment, I'm going to say, uh, create a new melody for Arctic Overture. And then save. Now, this assignment has now been assigned to my students. I'm going to show you what it looks like from a student perspective. All right. So um, on the student, when the student signs into their Quaver account, <clears throat> this is the first thing they will see, their student dashboard. Um, now I'm going to open up that assignment that I just assigned to my fifth graders by clicking the assignments tab, the title of the assignment, and then launch. Now a reminder, this is what your students would be doing, not you. Okay, so now um, you can see two different, you can see some different things here. Um, they see the screen um, similar to like what you would be teaching in your class, um, but they'll see your video instructions if you uploaded them. And instead of seeing tool menu right here, they see this notepad. So from the student side, they can click the notepad to read the instructions that you've typed out, or they can click the video to watch the video. Now, when they're done watching it, they can simply click exit to minimize the video. If they need to come back to it later, they can click on it again. Now, um, they can also scroll through the tabs. They can see everything that you included in your lesson. Now, say a student has a question. Um, this is one feature that I really like on Quaver because I can directly answer the que student's question while they're in the middle of an assignment. So they can, if they have a question, they can click the chat button and they have the option to ask a, you, the teacher, a question on the teacher chat. How do I complete this slide? And now um, from my end, the teacher's end, I will see that message and I can respond to the student. Now, how they submit the assignment um, will either be determined by um, what you chose to do, either the quiz or the melody. So we wanted them to create a melody. Okay, so they're making their melody. Boom. Two. Here's my melody. Um, what they would do from here, they would click menu and then submit. And then they're done. Um, this makes it so much easier on you as a teacher for having to create um, last minute sub plans and it gives the students a it, um, a fun, exciting way to utilize um, their Quaver student accounts. Um, go ahead and click or stay tuned or check out my channel for any future tutorials that may pop up.